All right, so we're getting started with our new adventure time this week. Uh, going to Oklahoma, Fort Sill. See my son's graduation. Um, so we're leaving this evening after my wife gets off of work. We're driving just because we were afraid the flight might get canceled and we only get one day to uh, spend with them. So we wanted to make sure that everything was that was within our control could be in our control. So we're renting a car and driving there instead of relying on flights and airlines and all that stuff. Because if they just delay our flight by a day, then we, we don't go because it's only one day. Give us one day. So that being said, we are going to have a heck of a drive. But during this drive, I think we might do... I mean, I'm sure somebody's done something worse, but it might be the longest uh, DoorDash door delivery ever. So Jonathan has specially requested a Bojangles. He loves Bojangles chicken sandwiches. So I'm on my way right now to Bojangles to pick up two chicken sandwiches. Uh, then I gotta head back home. I'm gonna wrap them up, separate all the parts, wrap it in foil, uh, put it in a special little cooler I got. Um, and we're going to drive it a thousand miles out there to deliver it to them. So Bojangles chicken sandwich delivery for a thousand miles. So that tells you how good the chicken sandwich is, I guess. So uh, Bojangles, if you're watching this, sponsor this. <laughs> At least give me a free chicken sandwich or something. Uh, serving our military members, right? Delivering a thousand miles. But uh, we're going to start. I'll try to, I'll try to take some pictures of the sandwich along the way. Kind of make it a little, a little fun. Uh, and I'm not sure what we're going to see or how much video I'll shoot because, honestly, I, I don't know um, how much of our driving is going to be in the dark, uh, we, you know, what we're going to actually see and stuff. So might not be a ton of video, but I'll shoot what I can. Obviously, stuff for the graduation will be a bunch of stuff. So. All right, let's go get this Bojangles. Right, done. We got our Bojangles over here. Uh... I had them wrap every, I had them make the sandwiches all separate, buns, chicken, everything separated out. I'm going to wrap it in some aluminum foil when I go home, put it in a little cooler. It's going to be like an organ donor transplant, driving it all these miles. <laughs> So that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, we're in Arkansas. I have my makeup on. Uh... You're not even in the video right now. You think I look good? Look at me, I'm rough. You look exactly the same either way. What do you So you're telling me I look like crap all the time? What do you change when you go into the My bathroom? hair? Look at my hair. What do you it's do? sticking out here. What do you do to it? And here, I put a hat on it. I didn't bring a hat. Yeah. Turn left, then turn right onto South Roger my, Street. My comb, which I don't own. And I've known you more than I've been alive. What? I mean, half of my life. You know me more than you've half been alive. Of my life. I haven't had much sleep. Turn right half onto alive. South Roger Street. Half my life. <coughs> left I'm the one that was up all night. West. We drove to. We're driving to Fort Sill to see Jonathan's graduation. We left after Jennifer got off work last night. Oh gosh, this guy needs a new exhaust. Um, at about 5.30 p.m., 6 p.m., six. about 6 p.m. we left. Um, I was able to make it all the way to Arkansas. This is the sleeping ranges back here. We were in a Jeep uh, Wrangler, no, Jeep Wagoneer. Wrangler. Jeep Wagoneer. We got a Jeep Wagoneer. I'm, I'm going on barely no sleep, really. One, because I didn't want to put the miles on my car and the gas mileage on my truck is horrendous there's this thing i i had to fill it up once last night and then like a little quarter after that we made it all the way to almost Oklahoma. so it's got pretty good gas mileage and it's got more space in the back uh it's very fancy yeah, well. yeah it's a little it's a little roller coastery it's like laying back in the back of a pickup truck and trying to get us some sleep that sounds kind of fun I was on a four-wheeler and I was being thrashed around. Vehicle has all 
kinds of cool features like adaptive cruise control, which I do actually like a lot. But other than that, all the other stuff's really unnecessary. It's a four wheel drive, and it's not a true four wheel drive as far as I can tell because it doesn't have a low range, but it's all wheel drive. It does have the center lock to turn it into like a four wheel drive, but I don't think it has a low range. It has all these little modes like snow and sport and sand and mud. It's a crappy street tires on it, but whatever. It's all digital readout on the display. But yeah, like I said, out of all the crazy features on it, the thing I, the only thing I really like on this other than my truck is the adaptive cruise control. Yeah, but you know it has a thing to, um, when you have a hot steering wheel to turn it cold. I if thought it was... lived in South Florida. Oh, it's a heated steering wheel. No, though. they have it both because I saw it on here. It was uh, it might be a feature in the thing. Somewhat of an overland adventure last night. I tried to, it was what, 4 a.m., 3 a.m.? Um, I saw a national forest on my Gaia maps, so I was like, you know what, this is what we got this for. I'm gonna go hit this little national forest over here, find a spot, we'll camp out there. I get to the national forest area, it's, it's pitch black, it's you know, 3 a.m. And I can't really, it's like all private property in a national forest, which I don't understand what they got going on here, Arkansas. Uh, and then I accidentally set off the car alarm while we were trying to like sleep and so anybody that was we were trying to be kind of stealthy at that point we kind of blew our cover so we skedaddled and we slept in the uh, Walmart parking lot some new things I learned Arkansas has mountains we just saw them back here in Alabama Alabama has mountains which was hard to see because it was dark but it was kind of cool it would have been kind of cool to do this during the day. We did cross over a lot of cool. We went over the Mississippi River, which has some really cool bridges and things, but you really couldn't see a lot of it because it was dark. Anyway, so we're in uh, we're in Arkansas, and uh, we should be in Oklahoma here shortly. And then we get to see Jonathan tomorrow. Over the last 10 weeks, your soldiers have had to endure the trials of basic combat training consisting of three phases. Red, white, and blue. Red phase focus on individual skills and acculturation for the Army, where they learn the Army values and warriors ethos. Basic first aid, gain confidence in their senior equipment at the gas chamber, and build self-confidence in themselves at the repel tower and combat condition opposite, of course. Culminating in the hand hotel. This is the first time with a Dr. Pepper. Tell me how good it tastes after all these months of... Oh, no! Oh, good thing it's a rental. <laughs> and now my uniform has Dr. Pepper on it. I don't know how it got shaken. Oh, when I closed the door. That's what shook it. Thankfully, I've been squatting for like 20 minutes straight <laughs> the past few days. <laughs> Tell me how it tastes. It tastes like victory. <laughs> <laughs> it is victory. The sandwich finally made it to its destination. Over a thousand miles, it traveled across South Carolina, Georgia, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, to finally get here to Oklahoma. Bojangles, did it make it okay? Was it good? Mm -hmm. Ah, see, mission accomplished. The longest DoorDash in history, over a thousand miles. Got it there, I didn't even get a tip. Of the United States, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to regulation. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God.
Your journey is just beginning. What an incredible journey it can be. 21 years ago today, I was standing where all of you were, graduating from basic combat training at Fort Benning, Georgia. The Army opened doors and opportunities for me that I didn't even know existed. Everything from becoming an Airborne Ranger to earning two master's degrees. The possibilities are almost endless if you are willing to commit your time and effort to achieving your goals. Your service in the Army will offer rich and valuable experiences that cannot be replicated in the civilian life. You will learn the importance of duty, teamwork, and a commitment to a cause greater than yourselves. You will face challenges and adversity, but always remember that your battle buddies are there to support you. At times, the journey may seem long, but with perseverance, you will overcome. The question for all of you is what do you want to become? Jonathan's signing off for us. We, we, got, we have to return him now. Yeah, he's a uh, buyer's remorse. We gotta re return him to the base. But he just wanted to say bye to everybody. Love y'all. He's thinking of you.